this is an exciting flight for us. It's the first time we have uh, not only another uh, JAXA crew member in Aki, but we also have a European Space Agency crew member in Toma. We're excited about that. We're excited about this Crew Dragon, which has uh, some enhanced capabilities over the Crew-1 vehicle. And I know Benji will talk about that. We have enhanced abort capability. Uh, we have some enhanced prop capability, making it an even safer vehicle. I'm extremely proud of the international partnership. You know, this flight exemplifies the partnership and how we are continuing to advance human space flight with what we do every day and will lead us to not only doing great things on the space station, but doing even more in our space exploration programs going forward. I'm sure that the, the Crew 2 mission is a symbol of enhanced international partnership. I think this is the first launch of NASA, ESA, and JAXA astronauts who will be flying to the ISS together. We've got that up and it's just, it's good to see that crew there and they're, uh, they're, they're happy and excited and, uh, uh, to be getting ready to go. They've been going through all the training that they needed to do. Um, this is the Dragon that's going to fly for Crew 2. Um, this uh, is the same Dragon that flew the Demo 2 mission that carried Bob and Doug. Um, the refurbishment of this vehicle has been going very well. Um, it uh, our, will be our first flight proven Dragon um, for, uh, for crew missions. So as we started, you know, at SpaceX from the beginning, we said, how do we, you know, how do we refly? So this kind of um, key, this golden key to, to, to getting into this new space age it is all about, you know, being able to refly and reuse vehicles. Um, so we, we designed Dragon from the beginning with some of that in mind, the same with Falcon. Um, we continue to evolve and learn um, over the years and how do, we, how do we return vehicles and how do we return them in a way that we can safely and quickly refurbish them and confidently and reliably fly them again. And uh, again, this Falcon 9 also has a, a history uh, with the crew program. This is the same Falcon 9 booster that flew the Crew 1 crew up. Indeed, I think I would say that we're entering the golden age of ISS utilization because of the fact, uh, thanks to the new US vehicles, of having seven crew aboard the station, it's already providing a dramatic increase in the number of science hours available to us.